Okay, number one dream team. Number one dream team on the planet. Direct mail marketing. Just give me a minute, folks. Hold on one second. Hold on. All right, folks. We got a lot going on. Sorry about that. Big shout out to Mr. Ricky Reed, my mentor and coach. I thank God for you, Mr. Ricky Reed. He is a godsend, folks. And you're going to see as time goes on. But I want to give uh, a warm welcome to those who recently joined. A big shout out to you, Steve. A big shout out to you, Philip, my next door neighbor in Pittsburgh, PA. A big shout out to John. A big shout out to, no, two Johns. A big shout out to Sam twice. And Philip. I mentioned you, Philip. And yeah, we're going to really get this in, man. We got exclusive training. Yes, folks, you're going to get exclusive training with us. And the big boss is sitting back while his business business partner goes forward with this. Now, as, as you may well already know, guys, this system is... Carte Blanche, you're not going to get into a direct mail marketing system that offers the products, especially the crazy cash cow program folks. You're talking about high ticket. And what's better than that is the connection that Mr. Ricky Reed has for full data leads, hot out of the oven, like a Alabama biscuit, are hotter than hot, fresh leads. You don't have to, if you've been in direct mail marketing before and you've suffered from sending out a thousand, two thousand, three thousand flyers and come up with goose eggs, that's not going to happen here, folks. We're not going to waste your precious time because we're men of God and we don't do that. Number one, God blesses us and we want to help the poor and struggling in this day and age 2023 you know what it's like all right so craigslist is the biggest global classified on planet earth the biggest global classified on earth this is the newspaper you want to be in and i'm going to show you some ninja tricks on how to get ching ching coming right into your mailbox or your preferred payment. Folks, I, I I encourage you to do as many as you can. Cash App. And if you don't have Cash App, either Cash App or Venmo, but Cash App is the more likely one that the majority of Americans, and that's who we focus on, uh, leads in America. But we can also go outside to Canada. But focus on Americans. Also, um, Zelle, you can hook that up to your bank account. Zelle is like the cash app to banks. If I want to uh, transfer money from my bank, I have Bank America over to your bank. I used to have TD Bank or Santander, Chase Bank, whatever your bank is. Zelle is the transfer uh, provider. All right. So with that said, you're going to want to remember that basically when you get started, and we're going to be talking a lot about mindset. Mindset is not on the physical level. What do I mean by that? It's not so much in the psyche of your mind because our minds are tainted with sin with sin. What is sin? Sin is iniquity. Sin is simply breaking God's laws. All right, just follow me for a minute. We'll get into it. When God says, don't steal, I steal. When God says, don't commit adultery, I commit adultery. I'm just being honest with you. Just listen. Hear me out. When God says, don't do, when I see a sign, I'm driving my 
Uh, I used to be a speed demon. I'm driving my Lamborghini down the road, and it says 65. I'm going to do 75. When it says, especially on a country road, I live in the country now, I'm by the Jersey Shore, New Jersey, do 45. I'm going to do 60. God says, thou shalt not covet what thy neighbor has. His oxen, his this or that, everything he has, we covet with our eyes, see, with our ears, hear. We smell with our senses. Why does God do that? You might never heard it before, folks. But the Lord giver, the Lord maker, God who created us, created the law for a mirror. The law is a mirror. It shows us who we are. We're lawbreakers. And because of us breaking God's law, it deserves a penalty. When I speed down the road two, three, four times, I'm before the judge. I'm out of gas now. I got to go to the county jail and do 30 days, right? Can we talk? Right? So guess what? In God's eyes, if you break one law, he's a much stricter judge, the God of the universe. You're going to an eternal prison, and I'm coming right out with it. You're going to hell. And an eternal God created eternal people, and we're going to live forever. We just pass on. We close our eyes on this side, and we open them up on the other, man. It's straight talk, okay? But here's the good news. And there's only one Savior. It's not Buddha. It's not Confucius. Prophet Elijah Muhammad. Mother Mary or Santa Claus or the Easter Bunny. It's our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He died on the cross for sinners. And like I say, I, like I say in my prison ministry, to inmates, and I go to prisons, in New Jersey, men doing life sentences, man. They ain't going to see daylight. And it breaks my heart. But you know what? I tell them, you weren't arrested. You were rescued. You weren't arrested. You were rescued. Because although you might not see daylight, you're going to see an eternal daylight that's going to blow your mind. So hang in there. And there's men and women in prison that are saved. So, with that said, you got to get that mind right with God. And the way you do that, and I know it's hard for some of you men to do this, but you got to get on your knees in the morning, in the afternoon, and at night. As a matter of fact, the Bible says you're to pray without ceasing. Because if you saw how wicked and corrupt we are, and if you don't believe me, just look around you. 2023, you don't know who's man. And who's woman? It's a wicked, wicked world, man. And I'm going to tell you what happiness is. Happiness is not a happy marriage. Happiness is not making all this money. Happiness is not having great health, going to the gym every day. Although both those things are good and blessings. But here's the equation. Happiness equals holiness. Happiness equals holiness. When we're living the right way according to God's word, and you got to read the scriptures, you got to discipline yourself to read the scriptures because the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 12, at the beginning verses, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you could know too what is good and acceptable and perfect will of my Father in heaven. I'm paraphrasing. That's what the Bible says. And as you read the Bible, your mind is going to be transformed. Because all scripture is given by inspiration of God. The Greek word inspiration is theopanustos. Theopanustos means God breathed. Did you know God breathed with the mouths and pens of men to write the scriptures? That's why it's without error. There might be some contradictions in God's word, but we call them apparent contradictions. God's word has no error because God wrote a book. And it's B-I-B-L-E, the Bible. 
So with that said, when you're reading the Bible, when you're praying and asking God to speak to you, and he only speaks through the Bible, folks. He doesn't tell you what kind of uh, clothes to put on every day, or what color car to buy, or what kind of house or woman to marry. Although he hints towards that in his divine providence. But he speaks to us in his word, and we don't add or take away to it. So you got an instruction manual to life. In every area of your life. And that's God's word. You got to dive into it. And you got to discipline yourself to read it. And God will speak to you. He'll reveal himself to you. Via his word. So it's mindset. So Mr. Ricky Reed and myself. When we speak to each other. We use scripture. Because the scripture has been hidden in our heart. Because when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will start regurgitating that scripture. We often say the scripture is like the cow chewing the cud, and that's how we have to meditate on it. The cow has two complex stomachs, and you always see him chewing. He's always chewing. It's amazing, too, how all that grass comes out in pure, pasteurized milk. It's a mirac miraculous thing. And I love milk, by the way, man. Borden's milk, that creamy milk. I used to be a milkman in Jersey, you know. I used to wake up at 3.30 in the morning and drink all that milk up and go to work. But your mind has to be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. The word transform in the Greek means, in the English, metamorphosis. A transformation, the original root meaning in Septuagint is metamorphosis it means from a caterpillar to a butterfly your mind will your mind right now when you're born in this world is like you're crawling in the dirt we're we're, we're born from the dust with feet of clay that's what man is and the seven colors in the world like the seven layers in the earth but from crawling in the mud like a caterpillar. When you get into God's word. And you have spiritual conversations like this. And you listen. Pretty soon you'll be flying. Like a beautiful butterfly. On a summer's day. Here in the Garden State. Plush New Jersey. They're beautiful out here. Glory be to God. So. Already you can see. How that transforms our mind. And as far as money is concerned, God says when we're obedient to his word, furthermore and moreover, and surprisingly so, that the book of Deuteronomy in the Pentateuch, in the first five books of the Bible, it says that God gives us the power to create wealth. And I'm not talking, folks, about the law of attraction, like the Watchilds and the Rockefellers. 1% of the rich of the world. This goes beyond that. Because if you read the history of our forefathers, they were the most richest people that lived on this planet Earth. My forefathers. My spiritual heritage. So when you look at a man like Mr. Ricky Reed, you see him on his videos, all this money coming down on him. It's just not a hype or fluff or or a show that's real and whatever you decide to do in your life if you live an obedient life wherever god calls you whatever your vocation is whatever your passion whatever your niche is that's that's your niche everybody talks about online niche 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 is a passion listen to me albert einstein most one of the most smartest men that ever lived made the light bulb, you remember? By the way, he made a million of them before that first one came out. And success, he said, is 99.99% 99.99.9% failure. And then all of a sudden, he turned it, and there was light. Everybody said he was a fool. You ain't got to create light. You got to be out of your mind. He was an entrepreneur. And you're an entrepreneur too, if you're watching right now. What's an entrepreneur? Basically this, 
when you went to work for somebody, you figured it out, didn't you? Wherever I went to work when I was a kid, when I was 15 years old, I started working when I was 14 years old in the streets of Jersey City, New York City. I figured it out, and I went and did it myself. And that's what you do, don't you, when you work for somebody. You figure it out, and you're going to do it yourself. You're an entrepreneur. You can't work for somebody. You're a big boss. You're that big boss. So, it's mindset. And what did Albert Einstein say? Just like Steve Harvey says. That dream that you have inside you, that desire, whatever God put inside your heart, is a preview of life's coming attractions. I'm saying that slowly so you, so you get it. The desire, that dream, you know what it is. You're thinking about it right now. Who put that there? God put it there. It's between you and God, by the way. Don't tell nobody. Deuteronomy 29, 29 says the secret counsels belong to God. He's giving you a secret inside you. Don't tell nobody because they're going to they're going to try to destroy that. Oh, come on, man. That sounds like a scam. That's just a dream. Come on, man. Be real. Be realist. I don't believe in realists. I believe in God. When God puts a desire in your heart like he did with me with this program. When I met Mr. Rick, as soon as I heard his voice, I felt the Holy Spirit all over me. Thanks be to God. So with that said, that dream that you have, you have to go after that. Because you got a threefold enemy in your life. And your number one enemy, I hate to tell you this, is you. You're your one. You're your number one enemy. Because the book of Jeremiah says, my brother Jeremiah said in chapter 17, verse 9, that the heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can understand it? The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Who can understand it? We're talking about the doctrine of total depravity. And I debate these doctrines with some big boys online. You might see me. Are we totally depraved or are we partially depraved? Are we born with some goodness in us? Of course, that's what we were taught. I was a little boy, Mama said, well, you're so bad, but you're so cute. And I know you got some good in you, but guess what? Mm -mm. God says that we're all guilty before his eyes. And we're, our hearts are deceitful above all things. What's more deceitful than my heart, my inner being? Nothing. I'm a master deceiver of myself. And I got some more. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I got some more bad news. You got the world. God says, who is ever in love with this world is an enemy against me. Because there's two worlds, believe it or not, there's two cosmos. You have the world of the godly and the world of the ungodly. You got two families living parallel spiritually to one another. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ said in John chapter 8 verse 44, he says, your father is the devil and the desires of your father you will do. He was talking to the most religious people on the planet. Jewish people. Yeah, he came right out with it. it was a, there was a lineage colloquy debate argument going on with Abraham. And he says, if you say you know Abraham, then you would know who I am. But you don't know who Abraham is. As a matter of fact, your father is the devil. And the desires of your father you will do. Whew. He put it to him, boy. He put it on him, didn't he? And moreover, and more importantly, so, I'm going to tell you the truth, the absolute truth, your third enemy. And he's the one I leave for last because he's hiding like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Second Peter says, it's the devil. And if you think the devil is in a red suit with horns and a pitchfork, a long red tail, mm -mm. The devil comes in an angel of light. And being that we're men, <laughs> you already know, she comes looking beautiful. 
read Proverbs chapter 30 and 31, the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament. It talks about the seducing woman with lips that drip with honey, seducing eyes, eyelids that flatter, pointing of the finger, listen, she's standing at the corner, and she's looking to take you down, because the children of disobedience, the Bible says we're all slaves, either we're a slave to righteousness or a slave to unrighteousness, and people who are deaf, dumb, and blind, who haven't been born again, are puppets for the Satan, for the devil, they're puppets, they don't even know that Satan is working through them, he comes power of suggestion, it comes out in word and deed, just like God works through his people, to will and to do his good pleasure. So you have to understand that total depravity means that we need to get right with God. We need to make peace with our maker because we're born in rebellion against God. We're born shaking our fist at God. We love our sins. We hug our sins more than our children. So we need salvation. And salvation, my friends, is of the Lord. That's the theme of the Bible. So with that said, I'm telling you the good news. It's Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I'm not ashamed of the gospel. And you need to repent and believe what I just said. It's not an offer. It's not an opportunity like this business. God commands it. Because everybody always quotes John 3.16, but they don't they stop there. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life, right? And God commands all those to believe after the, after the text goes on. And those who do not believe are condemned already. God commands you to believe what I just said. It's a command. It's not a business opportunity. When our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ called the fishermen, the uneducated fishermen, he didn't go up to him and say, I know you guys are fishermen, but I got a better business opportunity. I'm the business of my father. Listen, this is a real lucrative business. There's a lot of money in it. No. He said, you, Peter, follow me. When he called those fishermen, they dropped their nets. There was no more, let's go fishing. And they went and followed the God-man who walked the shores of this earth, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Did I get an amen? All right. So here we go. Craigslist. 50 million to 70 million eyeballs a month. See your ad. And that's where we're going here. Is this a free ad? Well, it used to be. Back in the 70s and 80s. I'm 62 years old, so it was good. It was good back then, right, Mr. Mr. Reed? It was good back then. The good old days. These, these used to be free. We were posting all the time, making crazy money. But now you got to spend $5. But I got you in New York City. Why you want to go to New York City? I used to work in 57th and Madison. I used to work at IBM in the 42-story building. I made it to the 16th floor, climbed the corporate ladder. Took my Z28 with me right to the 16th floor. I would park there. That's as high as I made it. But uh, it wasn't my cup of tea. It was evil. Anyway, this ad will convert. I'm going to give you the copy to this ad. It's exclusive for our team members, Mr. Ricky Reed and myself. You'll, I'll copy and paste this. I'll send it to you. Affiliate marketing for beginners. If you do this right, excuse me, if you do this right, because I did my keyword research, this is a low competition, low to low competition keyword, and it's getting a half a million searches a month. So if you do this right like this, you pretty much wind up on the first, second, third page of Google if the algorithms are still connecting with Craigslist. And Craigslist, just like uh, Medium.com and Quora and Pinterest, Pinterest is killing it with the search engine, like Facebook search engine. 
Craigslist is still up there. So whatever content, fresh content that you put on here, they're going to rank you. So when I, you see me all in caps here, and here's the keyword. All right, you want to put some emojis in your title. How do you put emojis? Just left click. Mm, sorry. Well, let's just go to a post, and let me just say, I'll walk you through a post. But I just paid for this. It's $10. It's in Manhattan, Big Apple, New York City. And uh, I still live there. My daughter just moved from there. I had to get her out of there. It was getting a little crazy. She was in Hell's Kitchen. It's a secure area by a lot of transgenders. Just moved down, down the beach in Florida, but it'll get, uh, I think the census in Manhattan right now, New York City, is about 8 to 9 million people on that island. 8 to 9 million people. So you definitely want to follow this uh, this tutorial and get your $10 ad because you're going to be going in gigs it's going to cost you 30 40 bucks for jobs but i'm going to show you a ninja trick and how to get that going so manhattan let's just go right from the beginning you want to create a craigslist ad and after you do that we'll go into new york here's the boroughs in new york you got manhattan brooklyn queens bronx and so on staten island jersey city i was born here and then what you want to do is you want to go down to gigs now in gigs, they're five dollar ads, but they double up because it's a big city. So you could even do Los Angeles, LA. I still live there too. If you go over here to computer, because if you go to labor, these guys, you know, the construction guys, you know, Mexicans and stuff. Hey, listen, I have good friends that are Mex Mexicans, and I'm not prejudiced. But um, you want to just go to computers because. These people are a little bit more of a high intellect. And by the way, God said to um, Moses, because Moses had a speech impediment, and he needed Aaron to be a spokesman for him when he went to the courts of Pharaoh, because he had a speech impediment. He was complaining, God, I can't even talk. Why are you sending me? He says, listen, who made the deaf, the blind, the dumb, the lame? Have not I the Lord? So if you have a handicap, whatever that handicap is, God made you that way. And God does all things for your good. So it's good that you have a handicap. I can't figure that out, but I know some people who can't see. They're blind and they have more enhanced hearing, more enhanced senses. They smell better. They taste better. Some people I know really can't smell. They used to do a lot of drugs and everything. In their younger days, and they were nostrils and all messed up. And cocaine and heroin and everything. But they have more keener hearing. It's just amazing. Although sin with chemicals, we hurt our body. God keeps the body going. He heals it. It's, it's amazing. God is great, my friends. God is great. When you submit to God, he will raise you up spiritually, physically, and mentally, emotionally. But it's hard for me to get off the topic of God because God's been good to me, man. And my family, my wife, and myself, my family's provided. No matter how hard times get, he always upholds us with his righteous right hand. So you got the place, New York City, and you want to stay primarily in in the middle of New York City. That's Midtown West, uh, 57th of Madison to be exact. I never drove a cab in New York City, but I did a little drive in New York City. I know it pretty pretty well, and that's a good area. That's where uh, Columbus Circle is. You got um, uh, you got Carnegie Hall over there. You got um, IBM, of course, where I used to work. And there's an atrium. Then you got Trump Plaza. You got this big Trump Plaza. And you go in there, in Trump Plaza. You got all these clothes, all the rich going there. There's no price tags. On the on the clothing, and so all Gucci, Tommy Hilfiger, all the most expensive stuff. Those rich people just take it to the register. Yeah, three, four, ten thousand dollars suits for a man. It's it's crazy. The money that flies through Manhattan, Manhattan. But there's uh money here, so that's why I'm having you post here. And for ten dollars, you can't go wrong, folks. You can't go wrong. 
So you got your gigs. You want to go to computer. Click on there. And then here's the ads. Here's the ads. All your different ads that go up. And let me see if my ad went up yet. Uh, let me see. Affiliate marketing for beginners. For beginners. If you don't see, you could just refresh the page there. And that might do it, perhaps. And it's not there yet. And the reason why, and I did this about 10, 15, 20 minutes ago. And the reason why is because a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, who are in business and understand that, you know, this is the this is the number one place really in the world where you really want to. And there's a lot of ads going up by the second. Look at all these ads, man. It's just here. Yeah. So I might have been on there before, but you already saw my ad. Anyway, so let's continue on. So now we're going to go to post. Okay. And like I said, you want Manhattan. Okay. And here's what you want to do. When you get here, you see the Lower East Side, all this stuff here. Midtown East, Midtown West is the most um, lucrative. This, this, here's where the most money is. You got Chinatown, Downtown, East Harlem. And you got it all here. Greenwich Village. And I love New York City. So you want to bypass over here. Bypass this step. And you can always go back to this tutorial. And I encourage you to listen to this tutorial. To especially the mindset. When I spoke at the beginning, I spend more time on that. I kind of reel you in with the tutorials. And my past programs too. But I just want to get... Hey man, you got to get your mind right. It's all mindset. Satan's always telling you, you can't do it, you're a loser, and this and that. I'm telling you, man, you you could do all things through Christ who strengthens you. My mom in the kitchen has, on, in her house in the kitchen, she got all things are possible for him who believes. I walk in the kitchen, I see that all things are possible for him or her who believes. Believe in your heart, receive it, and go get it, man. And watch your words. Watch your words. It's the rudder to the ship. It's the hardest thing to control, the book that James says. But, you know, I think, oh, excuse me, I think I'm getting a cold. I think I'm getting a cold. Oh, I get a cold. I sneeze. You know what? I just sneeze, but I'm healthy. I'll be fine. Folks, we can speak things into existence. Got to be careful. Especially when you're arguing with people. And, and, you know, words scar more than anything. Cussing at people, talking down to people, hurting people, you know, that, and that, that scars, and we all have that. I ask forgiveness quick and move on. So here it is, jobs offered. If you click on there, you're going to pay the price. We don't want jobs offered, that's 30, 40 bucks, you don't need that, I'm telling you. Go to gig offered again. I want to hire somebody, or I have a service to offer. We want to hire somebody. Right? We're looking to make that money. Okay. Where do you go again? Creative bags. Where are we going? Computer gigs. Computer gigs. And this is where you put your ad. And this is how I do it. I have a notepad that I always use. And I just uh, post it here. So I'm going to copy and paste here. Oops. Copy and paste here. Affiliate marketing for beginners. That's the key word, low competition. Works if you work it. All right, and there's mine. Let's go up to my keyword. There's my keyword. All right, you just want the words itself. You don't have to put emojis on there. It's just, I think it stands out better compared to all the other ads. I always put emojis on Craigslist. It really won't hurt the uh, algorithms on Google. So you can put it whatever emoji you want. I always use the fire one. It's cool. Go here again. Emoji. All right. So you got that. And then where's the city or neighborhood? NYC. Caps. You want to put it caps. NYC. And the zip code for New York City. Who knows the zip code? 10036. That's the name, main one, folks. New York City. Big Apple. 10036 by Journal Square. 
All right, so no pay or pay. You have to put compensation in here. So I, you could put, you know, there's no fluff, no hype, folks, here. But people are going to know that, you know, I want you to leave your phone number, too. People are going to know. You know what a Manhattan hustle is, folks? I worked in Manhattan. I'm going to tell you what a Manhattan hustle. Frank Sinatra said, if you can make it in New York, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. He's right. Manhattan hustle is this. And it's real cool. It's right down to earth. People don't like salespeople. They don't like people selling them, pushing them. You got to build a rapport, folks. Zig Ziglar said, if people like you, they'll be your friend. If people trust you, they'll do business with you. It's credibility. And there's a lot of scams. I always say 2023. 2023, Scam City. You are Sam. Talking to you, Sam. You, Steve. See if I know you've done this before. You can make a lot of money in this, Steve. You've done this before with Brad Kaminsky. Steve, you can you can knock this out of the ballpark, Yankee Stadium. You all you guys can fill. John, I talked to you guys over the phone. Sam, you guys could do this. This is this is easy. It's just mailing out postcards and we're doing it in a different way. There's other areas you can do it. It's never gonna be a boring thing for you to do. Is it going to, is it going to take some work? Yeah, it's easy, but it's going to take some work. Listen, no shortcuts in life. There's no quick, rich, rich, right, Mr. Reed? No quick, rich. It doesn't exist. It takes hard work to get where you want to go. It takes sacrifice. Sometimes you have to go without eating. Sometimes you have to go without sleeping a full night's sleep. Mr. Ricky Reed and myself up to sometimes two, three, I know he goes five o'clock, six o'clock in the morning. Right, Ricky, you, you, you guys up late. I am too. You got to want it. You got to be hungry for it. You got to go after it like a tire. You got to be rocky. Not how many ma times a man falls ta down in business or in life. It's how many times he gets up. So you got to really go at it. And it's going to happen. It works if you work it. So compensation, you could start at 200 Crazy cash cow. Mr. Reed, right? 200 400 I'm going to put these different levels and you want to tell them get in where you fit in you might have to a guy only has 200 bucks listen never leave money on the table never leave worried that uh, rich growing up well, I'm not a stinking rich kid prima donna my stepfather always used to say if they broke in my our house they would leave ten dollars on the table they broke in our house and leave $10 on the table. So you put 600 800 <laughs> and all the way on up to what? We got, I think we, Mr. Reed's got a high ticket, 9000 up to 9000 So we could put on up to 9000 right? Okay. All right, so you always want to click outside it too because there's going to be a red box and it won't let you move forward for payment. All right, no replies to this email. All right, do I want to lose my phone number? Yeah, folks, listen, you want to leave your phone number. You know, people sometimes want to talk to you. I was talk talking to Mr. Reed the other day. I said, you notice, Mr. Reed, there's a lot of shy people that are in direct mail. You're going to find out there's a lot of shy people. There's nothing wrong with that. There's extroverts, introverts. God gives everybody your own DNA, your own unique personality. And that's where Manhattan Hustle comes in. People don't like salespeople. They want somebody who's real. And people know if you're trying to pitch them, you're trying to sell them. They know that. But you know what? Build a rapport with them. Become their friend. God sent you them in your life. Look at them as not just a sale, but a human being. Love them, embrace them, share the gospel with them. A wise man wins souls. Treasures in heaven, not here on earth. You want to be real with them. You want to be transparent. You want to talk to them. And you got a unique DNA. There's nobody like you, Philip. Steve, Sam, there's nobody like you guys. John, there's nobody like you. Mr. Reed stands out like a sore thumb. We're blessed. We're 
God made us in his likeness and image. He wants to shine. Not by being somebody else. People know when you have a sales mask on. Take it, take it off and be yourself. All right, so you got the phone number. So you want to continue on. Boom. All right, I'm doing something wrong. And sometimes with these ads, Craigslist has become real strict. So it is the compensation. It's a compensation. Up, you know why? I'm I'm not putting my um, dot uh, zero zero. Yep, that's what it is. Watch dot zero zero. Yeah, you can't be uh, short in the compensation because you're offering. All right, the nine thousand's got to be there. Wow, it was like nine million nine hundred thousand. All right, let's see if that works. I'm going to click in there. All right. When you're in there, what I just did is you want to hit your um, enter. Hit the enter button. Hit the compensation. Hit the enter button. Folks, guys, if you have any questions with that, you know you can call me anytime. 862-658-2086. Put me in your contacts. And please, don't... Believe. Call me before if you, you know, Ricky Reed has his number out there. I don't want you to bother him. He's very busy. He's working for us, folks. He's got a lot on his plate in his life. Call me and I'll relay it to him. I Sometimes I have a hard time getting to him too because he, he's helping a lot of people. He runs a full-time, he runs a prison ministry too. So, so continue. Add images. So you're going to have your images, um, whatever your images are. So I just made this, you guys, uh, Canva. I got the pro version, canva.com, C-A-N-V-A, canva.com. Go there, you can get a free, um, I don't think it's even a trial. You can have it free forever, but you can only do so much. But I made this, I actually got a, a money on the image on Google and I put this on here. We're killing it. A start today. This is not MLM. Uh, it's kind of bright. And this, this ranks like a 2025. If you want to start doing videos, guys, I'm going to do a video tutorial. I think I did one or two already for us. I'm going to uh, uh, compilate all this into other tutorials that you could just go and don't have to go to Craigslist, this and that. I'll make it easier for you. But I want you to get started with this Craigslist first. To get some money in your pocket because it works for me. And I, it'll work for you. So put a couple pictures in there. Um, yeah, and you're going to see that the pictures help. Here's your money on fire. Flyer. I don't know who's got the money on flyer. Sam, you got the money on flyer. Yeah. I think you got both, Sam. I forget. I'm sorry. Okay. So you're done with images. And boom. There you go. We're killing it. Wow. Start today. This is not MLM. Affiliate marketing for beginners. Can you mail a flyer or a postcard? Of course you can. The easiest way to make money from home. Within the first six, seven months, at least $75,000 to start, folks. Guys, you could do that. If you be consistent in your mailing. They're asking us how much... How many flyers have to mail out? I asked Mr. Reed. He says, I said, a thousand? He's like, no. I'm like, two thousand? He says, around fifteen hundred. Really? You know what thinking about? I think that's the magic number. Fifteen hundred. I could take flyers, fold them. You know, uh, Mr. Reed has the self-mailer. You just put the, the lead on there and the stamp. And you hit the ground runner with that one. I think that converts better too because everybody sees it even a postman or woman but um hey you putting them in the envelopes i can do i'm not tooting my horn but i can knock out and this is when i first started doing it 300 350 in an hour 300 350 postcards out can you send 15 out 1500 out in a, in a week Get your eyes closed any man can do that and have a lot of free time for himself 
So monkeys can do this home-based business. I always say, fire your boss today and get started. How fast? See, if this is what the questions you ask. You got to put yourself in their shoes. How fast can I expect results, Mr. Reed? Good question. Between seven and ten days. That's great. You got to work it, though. This Craigslist ad is a gift for the poor and struggling in 2023. Any questions, please feel free to call Paul. There's my phone number. All right? No hype, no fluff, no wasting your precious time. This is real. Our top team member, Ricky, has had a $6,000 day. Ask Paul for income proof. And we'll give it to him. Listen, if you want that video for income proof to show somebody, but don't repost it. No more reposting. I'm, I'm, I'm done with the income proof. I did that for a reason. I, 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 I kind of, oh, I think I over spammed my channel a little bit with the income proof. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Reed. But I just wanted to get, get out there, just, you know, to rev things up a little bit. But now it's time to do, you know, get down to basics. You know, we got a little team going, so we're going to kill it. Our top team member, Ricky Reed, a $6,000 a day. Okay, proof. Take action now. Here it is. You always want a call to action, folks. Don't, this is it. Take action now and call Paul. 862-658-2086. God bless Paulie. I put Paulie here because when my phone rings, I have two businesses, State of New Jersey. And she's out of care LLC. We do attic restorations named after my wife. I want to get out of that. <laughs> it's tough work, man. And I have a, a wildlife pest control, SWAT team animal pest control business. And um, for uh, talking about service business, and you can use this to pass. This is how I um, made a lot of sales. Pass. People call us up to have a bat in the house. We have 24-hour service, 2 o'clock in the morning. Oh, you have a bat in your house. Oh, I understand that. Problem. Pass. Problem. Agitate. Oh, do you know if you have a bat in the house, it could be rabid, and you can get rabies. Put a towel under the door. We'll be there in an hour. You know, we'll get five, six, seven hundred bucks, folks. We go to the house. If it's clear or unclear, sometimes there's a police officer there. Yeah, serious. And we get, they get that money, plus we do a... Uh, a bad exclusion estimate, three, four, five thousand dollars. So, pass always works for me. Problem, agitate, and then you say, "Well, guess what? I can solve your problem." Same thing with this. People have a problem today. We have an income problem. Recession. President Joey Biden, boy, what's he doing? Come on, he's like a clown, falling down all over the place. The guy's falling asleep on us. It's, it's tough, man. People are laughing at him. It's really not funny. So we got a problem, and it's, it's being agitated. Everybody's talking about it. He's not being impeached. We got to become, shift gears from being problem-oriented to solution-oriented. And what's the solution here? Mr. Ricky Reed, he's the solution. You get with crazy cash cow program, and your problems are over for 2023. Yeah. Too good to be true? No, this is the real deal, man. You're going to find out real fast because we're killing it. 2023, start today. And it's not MLM. You don't need a computer. You don't need a phone. Hey, you don't even need feet or eyeballs. You can have your wife or your girlfriend go to your mailbox and bring you the money. You can feel it and have it go in the bank. Monkeys can do this business, folks. Come on, let's get it going. Let's get it going. All right? Let's do this. Give me a call. Any questions? And you publish it. It looks pretty. This post is being blocked. All right. I don't know why. View active postings. Oh, because I didn't put my email in there. All right. You got to put your email. Create an email. Log in. All right. I can see I need to put another password. All right. So it works if you work it. Go over to the tutorial. I'm sorry. It's been almost an hour. But... It was worth the time spending with you guys. I feel you in the spirit. God bless and shalom. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.